John Tanaga for Pro Boxing fans. Chris, good to see you, mate. Um, happy birthday for the other day. Yeah. Uh, to win, the you won the Commonwealth title. What's it like now going in as the defending champion? Is there any extra pressure? I uh, put a lot of pressure on myself anyway, mate. And obviously, naturally, you, as a champion, there is pressure on you. You know, my mates have moaned at me because the, the odds aren't very good for me <laughs> um, and those sort of things. But um, as as I always say, Serena Williams said, pressure's a privilege. And, and that's the way I look at it. It's only the only champions get that pressure. And, and it's a, a great pressure to have. And I, I thrive off it. Obviously, uh, the same week uh, your fight is taking place, um, Eddie Howe's gone, um, Bournemouth relegated. It's time time for a bit of luck down the south coast, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely, mate. I think uh, I think I've got a lot of all that pressure as well on me as, as a town. Uh, you know, the the sport hasn't been great down there. The Georgia Hall's done all right in the golf, but the football the football side of things hasn't hasn't been too good. Obviously, losing losing Eddie and, and getting relegated, but um, it'll, be, it'll all change on Friday. I mean, uh, you've told me before about sort of the support Bournemouth have given you, especially even Eddie Howe. I know you've met him before. Um, what sort of advice do you remember him giving you during that time? Uh, he just he just wished me luck and said, said he's been following my career. It wasn't, you know, massive advice. I still want to sit down with him and have a coffee and I'm still going to try and make that work some, somehow, some way. Um, but uh, yeah, it wasn't massive advice, but it's just inspirational, just the way the journey is and, and how he's put Bournemouth on the map. Um, and it's, uh, you know, as a football team and, and what he's done, the, the whole underdog story, the whole way from the bottom of the league to all the way to the to the Premier League is, is unbelievable. And that's sort of how, how I feel in a way, because Bournemouth's not known for its boxing. It's not um, a thriving boxing town. Obviously, we've got a bit of history with Freddie Mills. But other than that, there's there's not much history there. So uh, that's that's what I plan on doing, is doing a, a similar rise as the, as the football team. Uh, I expect him to be awkward for a, a couple of rounds. I expect him to have fast hands. I think he'll be a, a thuddy puncher. I think the weight will, moving up in weight will benefit him. Um, but I think the experience will be key in this fight and just the experiences I've had over the last year to year or year and a half, um, just constantly sparring, you know, world-class people, Breedis, Lawrence O'Coley, George Groves in the past. And then obviously I've had two two 50-50 fights as such against uh, domestic clashes. So I think all that's going to pay off and I, I expect to, to take him out in the mid to late rounds. Uh, it was just mentioned before about a possible European title shot against Tommy McCarthy. Do you expect that to possibly happen if you come through on Friday? Yeah, I think I think that's a fight that, uh, that will be, would need a crowd as well. But um, So as long as the crowds are back and stuff like that, then I, I think he will... That, that fight makes sense, you know, and, and if Eddie Eddie said he he really wants to make it and we really want to make it, so hopefully Tommy will take it as well. I'm sure he will. You know, he's he's on the form of his life at the moment. He, he's he's done really well in his last few fights. I think he's a really talented boxer and I think that amateur pedigree's, you know, sort of come through now. He hasn't been you know, it was a cut obviously a loss against React War, but he's he's now, you know, pushed on and he's he's done really well since that. From Breedis, sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was, there was lots of things I, I learned in that training camp, little, just the way and how meticulous every session is. And, you know, obviously we were only sparring with him, but he was very meticulous in his warm-ups and his preparation for every session. It was, uh, it was quite, it was really good for someone who, you know, like myself, I, take, I find, and I think I'm very professional myself, but just how to the detail he was. Um, and I believe he spent a lot of time in Klitschko's training camp. And he took um, lots of, you know, picked up lots of things by being in Klitschko's training camp. And obviously Klitschko is a very well-known training camp and the way he deals with things and, and has his sessions laid out, etc. cetera. So um, I think it was really good for me. And I think I've taken that on after, during lockdown and since lockdown of just um, basically just, being a bit more meticulous and preparing as well as I can every day and making sure I'm uh, performing the best I can. And just lastly, um, on Fight Camp, I'm sure you would have watched it on Saturday night. What did you take from that show and what is it going to be like without without your Bournemouth fans in there? Uh, be quiet. <laughs> you, know, you know how loud are, they are yourself. You've been to the shows down in Bournemouth and uh, they're obviously very loud in, in the little O2. Uh, but yeah, it, 
once you know once you get in the ring you do the ring walk that'd be be an experience in itself i just look, look forward to laughing it up really and enjoying um an opportunity which not many people are getting and a bit of history making uh, and making the most of it and then getting in the ring and then it's just back to work same old cheers chris all the best nice one thanks mate